So what would you guys say is the biggest work from home challenge you've come across as we have embraced not just people working from home, you know, on a scheduled basis or sporadically, but having 90% of the staff working from home full time for the foreseeable future? Yeah. Um, you know, challenges for me again is, is, you know, I need people around me. I just, I get my, my personal challenges uh, are more along the lines of, you know, if I don't have people around me and I'm sitting there by myself and, and I might be in a beautiful environment, but I'm still by myself and I get, to be blunt, I get lonely. Um, and so that's been a, a personal challenge of mine. Um, and so I need to get out. I need to, I need to talk to, talk to people and maybe the virtual room is, has been a, definitely a big booster and a big help for me. Um, business challenge, um, you know, uh, keeping morale going, you know, keeping the morale up for our staff has probably been uh, the biggest uh, work from home challenge. People, even if they're introverts, need other people. And I think that uh, we're experiencing um, some challenges where uh, people are getting depressed uh, from working from home, myself included. I've gone through stages, right, of, of being depressed, being at home without people being around me. And so I find going into the office and getting re re-energized uh, with the staff that are there um, has been helpful. Um, and so, and there are others who are just quite comfortable with working from home full time and they're in their element. And so we have a variety of staff members um, from a variety of different personalities, which is good. Um, and so some of them, no problem. People like me, yeah, up and down. I mean, I would say that it is maintaining communication with everyone. It's easy to maintain communication with the small number of people that I have regular ongoing activities with, and we're engaging um, on a regular and continuous basis almost every single day. But I mean, leadership is, is broader than that. And, mm -hmm. and to maintain connection with everyone in the company, occasionally reaching out and touching people through teams or through whatever mechanism um, to maintain those relationships and those connections. And... We started, um, when COVID first started, a, a video series where the three of us would come together because as leaders, we need to paint the company vision, paint the company response, and make sure everybody hears it. And so recording a video like this once a week, once every two weeks, whatever, and putting it out in front of the staff to maintain those connections so that we don't have silos of silence or ignorance, um, I think was extremely important. I think that's a lesson that tough times I think it's a good leadership lesson in general, but I think tough times really bring it to light. And that's when we think we're over communicating, we're probably just barely communicating enough. Right. And as leaders, we really need to stay in contact and, and with videos like this or however we're doing it to, to keep that communication open and repeat the message, repeat the message, repeat the message to make sure that everyone's hearing it enough times for it to soak in.